Alright guys, hey, this is your boy RKL2582 here to do a video response to my girl um Jericho Alec, uh 316 uh top five wrestlers of all time but with but with my version um I'm gonna do a top eleven wrestlers of all time. So let's not waste any time and get started with this list. Alright, um kicking off this list at number eleven is my boy Goldberg and as you know, me and my dad are huge Goldberg marks still to this day and he was one of the main reasons why I watched a lot of WCW back in the day. And um his finishers, the spear, his spear to me is what a spear should be. Full contact. Enough said and um his and his other finisher, the jackhammer, I still get goosebumps when I see him do the jackhammer on um uh the big show. And, and, yeah, and it's yeah, it's amazing. Okay, um, next on the list is um, ten, the game Triple H, and what's there to say about this man that hasn't already been said? Uh, he he was a a thirteen time world champion, and he he's pretty much done it all. And um, I enjoyed him um in DX, and that's what made me like Triple H in the first place, and. And he got me to hate him a lot back in the day, too, and as to there was the heel. In his words, he was the bastard that everyone wanted to kill, and he was right. Along with him doing the McMahon Hemsley error thing, that was bad. Woo! Yeah, talk about controversy. And, yep, that's my boy Triple H. Um, number nine is the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! And... <laughs> Yeah, this man right here, um, my dad and I are huge Flair fans, and my dad knew Flair way more than I did. I mean, he he is the man, he is the limousine rock, jet fly, kiss stealing, wheel and dealing, son of God. And, um, and of course, the wrestling God. Like I said, God, God, God. Uh, yeah, he's been in the business for like over three decades, and and he's a, he's and he's still going strong, and he's a 16-time world champion, and and I enjoyed his match against Rick and Dragon Steamboat. It's one of the best matches I ever seen. Even though he came to losing end, he made Rick and Dragon Steamboat that night. Lost to Okay, that's my boy Rick Flair. Um, number eight is what? 2J! Chris Jericho. And, um, Chris Jericho, man, this man has also done it all. He's won every championship that there is to hold. He's uh, the only person to win the Intercontinental title more times than anyone. Nine times, as a matter of fact. And, of course, the crowning moment of his career when, when he became the first ever undisputed champion at Vengeance 2001 when he beat the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in the same night. So yeah, that's my boy Chris Jericho. All right, number seven is Bata, 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 WCW champion Booker T. Yeah, what can I say? Um, Booker T. He, my dad and I are huge Booker T. Marks, and um, I grew up watching him during his days with the Harlem Heat. And to me and my dad, Hong Kong is one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And uh, and Book T has good run singles to the competitor, and I enjoyed him in the WWE when he first arrived. And, you know, and I and I'm, I'm happy he got the headline WrestleMania 19, he got the picture with the World Heavyweight Title. And I still think to this day he should have won that match. He should have won, but that's just my opinion. And I kind of hate when they made him the King Booker, even though it, it had some funny moments. But I just hate when they changed him to that, and then it made him and it got him the world title. But but at the same time, I wanted him to be his Booker T to to win the world championship. But hey, what can you do? And my main dream with Booker T is I hope him and his brother Steve Ray get in the Hall of Fame together someday. That would make me and my father happy. So I'm gonna keep dreaming. Alright, um, next on the list is six, the rated R superstar, Edge. And I know he just recently retired and 
Well, with me, I've been watching Edge since day one and since the Attitude Era, and I didn't think at the time he would become an 11 time world champion. So, yeah, he he has done a lot of stuff. He, you know, him teaming up with Edge and Christian with the benefit of those of Flash Photography. Oh, that never gets old. And, um, him teaming up with, um, Hulk Hogan and winning the tag team championship. And, um, Sadly, the neck injury, you know, he missed out in May in 1920, and I, I enjoyed his comeback at um, the draft 2004. It had me on my feet. I went, I was marking out big time. And, of course, when he became the rated R superstar, thanks to the whole love triangle thing between him, Matt, Hardy, and Lita, yeah, that's when the rated R superstar was born. And that was, like, pretty much the, around the time when I hated his guts so freaking much. Next to when he cashed in Money in the Bank, and he was the first ever Money in the Bank winner, and he got to cash in on John Cena to win the WWE title for the first time. And that's a moment no one will ever forget. And you know, and then of course, his feuds with John Cena and, and other people is just it's just amazing. And I'm and I'm very thankful once again I got to watch him at WrestleMania 27 here in my hometown of Atlanta, Georgia, inside the Georgia Dome. And I was just sad the front. That I didn't know at the time it was his last match, but once again, thank God I got to watch Edge. So uh, once again, that's your boy Edge, rated R superstar. All right, number five, Eddie Guerrero. Yep, he. What can I say about Eddie Guerrero? He did a lot for the Latino community, and he was one of my favorites, and, and even my dad's favorites too. And he just, he was just amazing on the mic, wrestling skills. He can do it all, and the one moment of Eddie Guerrero I will never ever forget is, of course, when he won the WWE Championship for the very first time in the the last. And um, <clears throat> he 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 was just he and I can feel his emotion through. That's how good that win was. I felt his emotion, and I liked his celebration after No Way Out, and of course for his celebration on SmackDown. It had me marking out like hell, and, and just man, you know Eddie Guerrero, you know he's a wonderful guy. So, Viva La Raza and I lie. I cheat. I steal. Oh, I love him. And number four is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels, oh my God. Me, my dad knew more Shawn Michaels than I did. I mean, yeah, he, he, he used to tell me his stories about him watching the Rockers, you know, back in the day. And you know, and and and, he, and we both mark out when he does sweet chin music. It, his sweet chin music will never get old to me. And we kind of know when somebody was about to pull a fast one. You know, you can't trust him. And um, and I enjoyed his his comeback in 2002. It's like a lot of people. He beat Triple H on his his first night back in like four or five years. And then of course he won the World Heavyweight Title in the first ever Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series. In 2002, it hits the coin phrase, but Jared saying, Can you believe a miracle? Man, that was just an epic moment, man. Shawn Michaels had a good career, and I was happy he got into the Hall of Fame this year. And and I hope, hope to see him. Uh, hope I, and I need to get his DVD, My Journey, soon. So, yeah, I need to make note of that. And next on the list is the most, I mean, at number three. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment, The Rock. And he, he to me was, um, he oozed charisma and he, he pretty much, um, electrified the crowd like no one else. I mean, he, and he had epic matches and I'm glad I got to watch him during the Attitude Era. And, and, and to me, he's the best trash talker next to Stone Cold, of course. And he, and he, he that's what he was good at owning people. And, and um, I, I like what he did recently with John Cena. I have to do this. It, it, it's pretty funny with the, you know, the, You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't. What are you playing? pick a I can see you. Can you, can you see me? It, it, it's, it was too funny. And, yeah, um, and, of course, I, I enjoyed his, you know, all-time favorite rival, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And, you know, my dad and I enjoyed those matchups because, you know, it, it was both dudes we liked and we liked what they were doing. You know, those two to me, if it wasn't for those two, I would have not watched wrestling. You know, 
they they brought me into wrestling. You know, and he was just so so. I'm hoping hit him and John Cena tear the house down at next year's WrestleMania 28 in the Rock's hometown of Miami, Florida, aka the People's Mania. Okay, number two on the list is the Dead Man, The Undertaker, and I and of course I enjoyed watching him growing up and. During his Ministry of Darkness, you know, corporate ministry days, and then he came, and then he was gone for a while, and of course he was an American badass, you know, and then had me on my feet too, especially when he came out to both Kid Rock's American Bad song, along with Limp Bizkit's Rolling, 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 Rolling. Oh man, yeah, those songs get me pumped up, and um, yeah, and of course, you know, after Survivor Series 2003, he uh. He um, is the beginning of the end for the American Bass gimmick, and he went back to the Dead Man, and I enjoyed him um, with his comeback, and then he lived up to the tagline at WrestleMania 20, and saying, the dead will indeed rise again, he did that, and, you know, and I'm hoping, and I'm happy he's still undefeated WrestleMania, and I'm hoping he makes it to next year's WrestleMania, and I, and, I, and I want him to end his career with 20 and 0, you know, that would that would just put the, the, um, the, the uh, cherry on top of his career, you know? So, and he's been in the business for like over two decades, and that's how I found out. So, and his character is still one of the best characters in all time. So, once again, Undertaker. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for, my number one is No sh- Shock, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And as you know, me and my dad are huge, huge Stone Cold Marks. And I and I just proved it tonight with this edition of Raw with, you know, him giving three stunners in a row. And his stunner will never get old to me. And it's one of my favorite finishers of all time. Because, you know, I always, always, every time when he does stunner, I always pretend I'm there saying, stunner, stunner, stunner. And, and, um, and of course, when he does the, uh, and I remember when he won the uh, WWE title back in WrestleMania 14. And, of course, with Jared's quote, like, Austin's the champion! Stone go, Stone go, Stone go. It was just, yeah, it's just legendary, man. And I enjoyed his moments with the Zamboni, the beer bath, and, of course, him kicking the man's ass in the hospital. That still gets me on the floor even to this day, so... Uh, like I said, with The Rock and, and, and Stone Cold, if it wasn't for those two guys, I would have not been watching wrestling. This is all I can tell you. Okay, um, anyway, that was my top 11 wrestlers of all time. And and you need to go to the description box and sub to my girl, um, Jericho Holic, um 316 She's amazing. She recently just came back on YouTube with her second coming. Once again, sub to her. And this is your boy RKL2582 signing off.